Hi Scorpio loves, it is Elle. I hope everybody is doing well this weekend. Before we get started guys, if you'd like to be notified every time I do post, post, okay? I sounded a little like Canadian maybe, <laughs> about, right? Love my Canadian viewers. Somebody is watching me that's Canadian, all right? Post, if you would like to be notified every time I post. I love it when stuff like that happens because I'm like, that is not my accent. It's somebody that's watching me though. It's funny when it happens. Anyway, I've had it happen in, even in a personal reading. I think, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember your name. I'm not going to blast you anyway, but he was from the UK and I started talking in, like out of nowhere in a British accent. So it, I, funny, it's funny to me when it happens because I'm like, it's somebody else's energy. If you'd like to be notified every time I post a new video, uh, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, show your love and support, Scorpio. As always, please keep it positive. We like the good vibes on this channel. I just had to set somebody straight in my last video. Somebody made a comment and I've been ignoring a lot of the trolling because, right, I got stuff going on in my life just like every other human being and I'm trying to keep it positive, right? Transmuting the negative energy and the... Uh, jumping over the the negative hurdles right that have been thrown at me lately and so guys it just uh somebody said i don't it, there's too much drama over here by and I, in the comments and normally i do delete them but you know my message today with that is i've been through a lot and and i love and appreciate everybody that has shown up over the last couple of weeks and just the last year in general uh my viewers that have shown up for me and helped us through some challenging times and i know i've said that you know there wasn't a lot i could talk about but I did say in my last video, you know, just so you have an idea, um, you know, shitty things happen to good people and um, you're a Scorpio. So if you're watching me, I know you get it because a lot of us have been through things over and over and over in our life and we're just like, all right, why? But it's the transformation. We're sent to change shit to, you know, it's like we are sometimes even sent as karma and other energies lives, right? Sent to, you know, somebody has been getting away with doing this to somebody for so many years and then they fucking do it to Scorpio and it's like, boom, karma transformation changes everything, right? So again, with us like not even knowing sometimes in situations why it's really happening, there is a bigger reason or something behind it, right? That's how I like to try to think about it. Uh, but for me, I've been through a lot. Um, before I started my tarot channel, I went through severe harassment, gang stalking, um, I almost died. And I'm pretty sure I had cancer at that point in time in my life. My life was completely destroyed and I couldn't even take care of my physical health because I was so um, just, just, trying to, just trying to live um, and be okay. Um, and so it is what it is. Things happen and play out for whatever reason, right? I fought for my life then. Then COVID happened, uh, and I feel like some of us that went through a lot of shit went through, got granted some peace a little bit through confirmation because there's the messages, right? Because I know I'm not the only reader that's gone through this or person. Um, and, you know, then I experienced cancer and had a reprieve from that through my, my uh, journey with cancer, you know? Um, and so, again, now that we've been in remission a year, you know, I have experienced a level of some of some bullshit again right and so again um it is what it is but i had to be honest and upfront with you guys about some of it you know just so you know what's going on um i'm not backing down from my channel i'm not stepping away i'm not going to be bullied into not doing anything or oppressed you know uh this bitch ain't going down without a fight right so it's like whatever's going on you know i've tried to stay as positive as possible through it and continue to just live and take care of me i don't mind i don't i don't bother anybody you know um i gotta select very few friends now that i associate with and that is it and i do my own thing and take care of my kid and that's all i do right and so you know when i say i'm not about the drama i'm not so you know when shit comes to me it's just kind of like you know this sucks especially since i do stay in my own lane now in my life and have for many years um it is what it is, right? And so, again, with this, even with my car situation, you know, my mechanic said, you know, we, we're pretty sure that, you know, it sounds like, I won't find out until next week, like somebody did put something in my gas tank, right? So, again, it's oppressive behavior. It's oppressive bullying behavior um, to keep me from moving forward. And it's sad. 
um, but it's something that I've been dealing with now for many years. And so that is the truth that needs to come out. Um, forever needs to hear it. If you feel like I'm full of drama, I'm sorry. I'm a human being um, who has um, just had a hard go at things for whatever reason. Um, and again, there's things that connected to it that I figured out that I don't even want to share, but, and, and forgave these psychos a long time ago. But again, I got to keep moving in the energy of just doing the next right thing, right? And staying off that, the timeline of fear and negativity and all that stuff associated with somebody wanting you to live in fear, right? So just had to get that out, right? Um, because I feel like there was some explanation needed, especially with somebody popping up with comments like that directed towards me. Um, anyway, um, I appreciate all the love and support we've been shown. You guys are amazing. This is a hard shit or a hard change I'm having to make quick. I love and appreciate you. Um, thank you. If you'd like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below. If you'd like to donate, I do have a GoFundMe link in the description box below. Uh, we do need to come up with some more funds to get what we need to do, get what where we need to go and do the things we need to do and still be able to eat within the next week. So if you'd like to donate, that's there. I'm not forcing you to. It's for anybody that would like to. These are free readings, right? So I'm not making anybody. It's like, if you want to do it and donate a dollar, I love you. Thank you or whatever. If you don't, you don't, I'm not, I don't, I'm not forcing anyone to either. So, um, I love and appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, again, free readings, uh, for anybody that wins Saturday to Saturday, I'm doing a free reading, 15 minute free reading. I'm going to pull a name for anybody that's made any type of donation to me and the channel and, uh, you get a free reading. So this week, Kelly Grayson, please email me email me with your questions for a free 15 minute reading. And last week I had Karen Burrell boss and I'm sorry, last week was so crazy. I didn't get it out in time on Saturday, but, um, Karen Burrell boss, uh, please, if you would like a 15 minute free reading, please also email me with your questions. All right. So let's go ahead and hop into it and see what's going on. My loves. Um, What's going on? And a part of it does, it sucks for me, right? I feel like, you know, I, I don't know. I'm embarrassed to have had to ask for help like that, but it is what it is because there's a change that needs to be made, right? And that spirit's like, okay, don't, don't be embarrassed, but like, it's not going to be forever, right? And so I understand sometimes I might lose subscribers through some of this stuff or lose, right? But I'm not going to quit and I'm going to make it through us and I'm going to flourish and be in a place where I don't have to ask for shit, you know, one day. And I under, and, and I know that. So, um, I love and appreciate, um, every single one of you. And I have plans for, for giving back and wanting to, 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 you know, hopefully we're going to get to a place where we can do, you know, you know, stuff, you know, for others, I'd like to give back. I want to give back, you know? Um, anyway, there's other stuff coming to you. I have a friend that's getting ready to also, I'm going to, uh, start a YouTube channel hopefully, and to help her with some healing, amazing projects that she wants to, to, to achieve and things that she wants to achieve in her life. So, um, hopefully fingers crossed, she's not too scared to get into it. We've been having the conversation about it, but, um, I can't wait to, if she does also put her name out there for you guys to view as well. She's an awesome reader and healer. So again, change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement, right? So look, message, there's something here again, movement, change, changes happening. Um, changes are uncomfortable. Changes aren't easy, but sometimes it is what we need. They're necessary, right? So with, I'm putting the evil eye over it, right? Because for some of you, then maybe there are some changes that, you know, that are going on, that are confusing, that are painful, that are uncomfortable is what I just heard, right? So just understand that, that nothing can grow or evolve without movement and change in energy in a situation. All right, with purpose, I don't know, something told me just to split the deck. So some of you do have a, a super important purpose you know, um, and then it's, it says, I know what I'm here to do, right? So with your purpose, it's understanding, you know, what your purpose is, knowing what you're here to do. Uh, let's do one more. Maybe this is a change that you're shifting and moving into. 
uh, love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things with love. This is the energy of understanding where love is, right? Committing to the practice of seeing the good in all things, even the bad, right? even the bad and that's the hardest and that's what I'm going through too and it's probably why I'm publicly going through it right is to show you how to do it too right it's like seeing the good and all things even when they're really ugly like right like why if I hadn't experienced this series or chain of events in my life then I wouldn't be where I'm at today or I wouldn't be moving in the direction that I'm in moving in today I wouldn't be creating the change or moving into the purpose that I'm supposed to be moving into um you know uh in my life so um a purpose driven life is a valuable life right uh let's get into it Scorpios I'm liking the vibe already. What other messages do we have with oracles for Scorpio today? What other messages do we have for Scorpios today? What other messages do we have for Scorpios today? All work has, has value if viewed in the right mindset, okay? So whatever work that you're doing, it has value, right? So you might feel like something is not being seen. Um, you could be, you know, doing something again and, you know, um, you know, some things take practice, right? You could be doing something that's you're learning a new skill set or, you know, picking up something that you've done and you haven't done it in a while, whatever it is. I, I'm feeling the energy of something here that is connected with purpose, but having the right mindset, understanding that like whatever you're doing here, it may feel like, okay, well, this isn't bringing me any type of change yet. Okay. I'm not getting anywhere with this energy yet here, but understand that the work that you are putting in has value. Um, and it's like with that seven of pentacles energy, right? So it's like the time that you're investing in something, whether it's even just working on yourself, right? Even if it's little things every day, understanding the bigger picture, right? The value in six months from now where you're going to be, as opposed to if you absolutely did no work on yourself, right? It's, it's like looking back, like sometimes, you know, I don't know, for me, you can, like say you haven't spoken to somebody in years, right? And you've been on this journey doing work on yourself, doing the work within, making changes, changing, you know, energetically, vibrationally, whatever, like things in your life, right? Finding a different way of life, moving in a more of a purpose-driven life, right? And just reaching goals, you know, um, changing, right? Changing and growing. And then, you know, uh, meeting somebody or seeing somebody that you haven't seen in years and they're stuck in the same vibration, the same place, doing the same thing they've been doing for however long, right? And it's like, wow, you know, um, that's how it's almost like, even if it's just some, something is like disconnecting from energies that are toxic and, and your change just within six months being different or a month or three, it's like spirit saying, look, you got to be in the right mindset to understand this right now. There is change, but it's connected to purpose and love, Scorpio. All right. What other messages do we have in regards to this reading? There's a difference between loneliness and solitude. So this is for my Scorpios that get in that hermit vibe, right? I'm right there with you. I do it. That's what I was saying too. It's like the energy of, I only got to select few, right? Oh. And maybe two in the city that I live in right now that I will actually go out and spend a little bit of time with. And that is it. That's okay though, right? I know those people are genuine and good and um, trustworthy. And well, actually I have three, okay? Um, that are not family here. Um, but you know, uh, you know, I have acquaintances or people, you know, but I mean like pe three people that I trust, right? Three people that, you know, and so it took me a while to kind of get out of, especially after some things that I went through to trust anybody ever again, right? And so and not to be scared. Um, and so Scorpios are kind of naturally loners anyway. 
Um, and for me, it was definitely a vibrational thing, like understanding there's a lot of changes that I had to make in my life to change certain things. But with this energy too, um, there's a difference between loneliness and solitude right now. So if you're going through things alone, um, I feel like with that message too, maybe there, there are a select few that you can, maybe spirit is like, okay, think about, you know, I mean, that's, what's been beautiful about this process for me too. It's like, not only have you guys been just fucking rock solid and amazing through this beautiful journey with me, I feel like we're doing it together. Right. Um, but like, uh, it's like, you know, when things have been happening, I'm not like looking back to where I was when I was so, um, oppressed to the point where it was like I was attacked so heavily I literally felt like I had no one right um and so at that point in time it was like I, I had no one but source and God but I had source and God right um and so now when I'm going through things it's like you know or have been this past week it's like oh you know I'm not completely alone anymore right and with this energy and and you know, I'm grateful for the few connections that I do have. And I understand that it's not healthy to be in that. Yeah. Like, yes, Scorpios, we need our alone time, but also it, you got to pull yourself out of it, especially when you're going through some shit that sucks. Right. Because we can also get stuck there and end up in an energy where like, fuck everybody. Right. I'm building the wall back up. Fuck it all, right? You know, don't go there, Scorpio, all right? There's a difference here. And again, there has to be a mindset. There's a change going on. Um, uh, I feel like there's definitely a mindset shift, change to in perspective about some things, all right? So again, if you're feeling lonely, for some of you, that message that I'm getting is too, it's like you gotta check yourself like, okay, well, you know what? I might need to reach out to so-and-so because I don't necessarily have to be alone. I am choosing the solitude right now. Now, if it's somebody on a lower vibration and you're disconnecting yourself for a reason, that's good, right? But again, for some of you, you know, step out of the isolation a little bit with that message coming out, okay? Ask for help when you need it. Again, don't be scared to ask for help when you need it. And it's really hard for Scorpios. I get it, I'm a Scorpio. It's fucking embarrassing, right? Um, I've been somebody my whole entire life. I've been on, on my own since I was 16 almost, right? And so it's like to, to always have to like take care of myself and, and stuff like that. And since a young age, um, you know, I've always been a person like, I don't need nobody. I don't need anybody else's help, right? Or if, if I did, you know, or, you know, it's been, you know, offered to me at times, or I've been un uncomfortable with even asking, right? Until I went through what I went through with cancer, right? Um, and that humbled me on so many different levels as far as that is concerned. So again, Scorpio, there's energy here of needing to ask for help when you need it and then recognize your emotional triggers. Now, again, this could be even just like recognizing some type of an emotional trigger, um, you know, and connection is necessary with somebody that you care or love or a friend, friend, right? Or something, someone within a community here that you can understand, like there's some type of emotional trigger going on if you need help with whatever it is, even if it's like saying, hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Because I feel like unleashing this anger or fucking a bitch up and I don't wanna go that route again, right? There's change here. All right, so let's do overall energy for the reading for Scorpio. Page of Cups. Okay, there could be something also involving children that's important for you right now with triggering energy. Or it could just also be uh, the energy of like a friend, right? So there could be a friend that's really important right now. Yeah, look, the Knight of Swords. Um, you've got somebody here that is looking out for you or watching you, whether you know it or not here, some of you, through some type of a change. This says the escape plan, so... What else do we have going on here? Overall energy for Scorpio spirit. Seven of cups, eight of swords. You've got options even though you feel restricted. There's change here. And for some reason, and I feel like it's like, you are so brilliant and creative and imaginative, right? So you're letting something restrict this energy. Overall energy, right? So again, it 
could even be something as some type of like restricting emotional fears, triggers. It could be something that you're experiencing and that needs to change, right? So you can step out of that energy, understand that there are options here. And again, with this energy, this is imagination. Sometimes it is as simple as that transmutation of energy, a perception shift. Like, all right, universe, you're going to provide me here where I'm being restricted here or stuck in some kind of self-imposed prison. Like, thank you for start affirming what it is, right? Um, that you want in your life. That's gonna help bring this change here and options moving forward. What other messages do we have in regards to this reading for Scorpio? Marriage. And then someone is leaving your life chair empty. So we've got somebody leaving your life, take it however it resonates. So now some of you, it could be somebody leaving a marriage. If it's not that, it just means somebody simply is not going to be around in your energy anymore. Someone is leaving your life, whether it's a partner, friend, whoever this is, family member, somebody will not be around anymore, okay? We do have the energy of marriage, all right? So some of you will be either getting married, meeting the person you're going to marry, um, and this is going to be a change for the better. So some of, some of you could be leaving a situation behind and actually moving towards somebody here. This is going to be a change for the better. We've got change, change, and then marriage. Uh, for some of you who have not been married or want to be married, uh, this is the energy of, you know, this is your person, forever person, or the person, you know, you will be marrying. For some of you, it could be an older man dealings with a relationship with an older man so there could be an age difference What's this top? and then the month of April could be significant let's do signs associated with this reading for Scorpio can't really shuffle me so all right, signs associated with this reading for Scorpio, Cancer energy. And if it's not a Cancer, there could be a Cancer significant in your energy in some way, shape or form. If it's not Cancer energy, Scorpio, this is the energy of uh, the moon card. Things being uh, revealed to you, things coming to light in the situation. Scorpio energy, there could be some involvement with a Scorpio, doesn't necessarily have to be. And then Pisces energy. Um, Scorpio can also represent transformation, right? Um, making decisions, judgment, um, and then Pisces can also be high priestess, trusting your intuition in some type of change in situation, okay? The moon card. Definitely feel like something's being revealed here. Um, the moon's wisdom can also be healing though, right? So. It teaches us that you know everything we feel is useful, especially the feelings that we want to dis discard or not feel. You know, going back to the energy of you know um, what did this card say? I understand that nothing. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. What were the other ones? Because I feel like it. Seeing the good in all things, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things with love. So understanding with this energy, this change, even if there are things coming to light that have been hidden with the moon card energy, it is, um, you know, teaching you something useful, right? In regards to moving forward, like lessons learned, like when, when we learn lessons, like the biggest thing with them is not to repeat them, right? So it's what they're it's meant to bring change, all right? What other messages do we have in regards to this reading for Scorpio? Six of Pentacles, okay? Divine Grace. Um, 
you're being given divine grace in a situation, Scorpio. Something going on. This is why there's change. Um, so again, refuge, divine grace, refuge. I love it. Like spirit is really, you're, these are the angel tarot cards. So if you've had some challenging things going on, your angels are showing up saying you, you are being given divine grace in a situation. Um, you are being given refuge. You are being basically take the, they are taking you <laughs> in their arms, their angel wings and giving you divine grace, giving you refuge. Um, for some of you, there's something here in regards to something that almost like some type of knowledge spiritually that you will understand or be given as well through this shift, through this change that is is hidden from most mortal beings, most people that, you know, will never be, uh, I guess, have their eyes open in a, in a certain way spiritually ever, right? So again, it's one of these things where for some of you with this energy, I feel like there's a gift here, right? It's it, there's an understanding. There's 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 gaining knowledge that not everyone either will ever have or ever be able to understand um, that you will have in regards to whatever this situation is for you and the change connected to your purpose. It's like you're chosen to see something. Maybe it, even if it's because you're a healer or a teacher here that is important for your purpose. Um, Damn, Scorpio. Never a dull moment in Scorpio land, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, what other messages do we have for Scorpio in regards to this reading? Queen of Swords, ritual and ceremony. This is that back to the basics, right? Um, energy for me sometimes, ritual and ceremony, prayer, meditation. Uh, and it's like cutting things out of your life that no longer serve you. There's changes here, but changes for the better. So if you're doing this, you're on the right track with your angels. It's like your angels are saying yes, right? Yes. Knight of Pentacles acquires knowledge and cures illness. Um, so some of you that are overcoming some illnesses right now or will be, this is the energy also of the light of understanding. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles uh, energy. He's holding the light, right? The, light of, the Knight of Pentacles is Virgo energy and Virgo automatically makes me think of the um, Hermit, right? Who is also in the... Um, Rider weight tarot deck holding the lamp, right? So again, see this angel holding the light, right? There is knowledge here. There's some type of light. This is healing energy. Some of you are actually being um, um, given some type of spiritual knowledge in regards to healing here that's connected with love and change. Um, and this could even be like even understanding like curing illness it doesn't have to be a physical illness disease it could be a mental illness or depressive state or um addictions or overcoming some type of energy here where uh something here has restricted you and held you back in the past now there's change um what other messages do we have in regards to this reading for scorpio three of pentacles mental force and this is spirit working with you with this, right? Mental force to me is that energy of like this, this perception shift, this understanding, this knowledge. You've been given this gift here. I love it, Scorpio. This is a beautiful reading. This is something here that you've even felt conflicted about some of you, like with your purpose or like even the knowledge of knowing something for some reason. Maybe it was a fear. What other messages do we have in regards to this reading? Time to rise, though, like the phoenix. I just saw that, right? So, it's, again, this change is part of your purpose. This is necessary. This is the energy, Scorpio. It is time for you to rise. And I keep looking at recognize your emotional triggers. So, with this energy, too, it's like, you know, um, be a queen. We've got a queen bee energy. So for my feminines, especially here, or my masculines and feminine energy, right? Um, sometimes it's interesting. I had a discussion with, you know, my friend this past week, we were talking about birth charts and, and both of us have more masculine energy than feminine when you look at our birth chart. So, I mean, I could even look at myself as 
a masculine in readings, which is interesting. So it could be a masculine or a feminine here, but somebody I am feeling there's something about emotional triggers that's going to be really important for you to kind of woosah, right? Not, not allow, just kind of look at everything with like different eyes is what I'm hearing. There's something going on with this change. You're going to have to look at everything with different eyes. All right. Know your labor labels, excuse me. And I almost said, I said labors. So that has to do with work. Something that has to do with work. It's like, know what your, your purpose is, know your labels, know what you're supposed to be doing. We've got the need to be neutral showing up again, again. So there is wisdom here because I'm looking at the third eye here that you are going to be given in regards to whatever this is too. You might even look at somebody and literally it's like you're look, watching somebody try to trigger you and you're like, wow, I see that. And it's not even going to work. You might even blow them a kiss. I don't know, but maybe, yeah. Name the thing in the room. For some of you, this is already going on, right? Uh, this is like the elephant in the room. The things that, you know, for some of you, you could be uh, currently dealing with. And it's just kind of like, all right, well, you know what? We aren't even going to talk about it. We're just going to stay neutral and just ignore that shit. Because I see what you're trying to do. Balance your energy. Yeah. So you're just saying you're doing the right thing with that. Or you will be. All right, let's get into the tarot. I just saw the two of swords. Keep your emotions in check, okay? That's that energy of feeling mentally conflicted at times or not knowing all the information that you need to know in regards to make a, a decision if there's been some level of indecision in a situation. What messages do we have with the tarot today for Scorpio? And happy Easter weekend, y'all. I forgot to say it in my other reading. All right. So for some of you, there's a feminine energy. It could be a feminine fire sign um, that does see your strength here. Okay. We've got a feminine Aries Leo Sag uh, showing up in your energy that is creating a level of conflict. Um, but it's it's like fear wanting you to live in fear. Uh, this person does know how strong you are um, and they feel like If they create distance with you and like connections or something on here um, that you'll be left out in the cold. There's something weird going on here with someone's energy. Or take a loss. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and then the Hierophant in reverse. Temperance energy, whatever this is, again, it's your, there's change coming. This person, this is the energy that could be leaving your life for whatever reason. Something could be, whatever this conflict is, could be leaving your life. If something's been slow moving with the Knight of Pentacles in regards to a commitment here, there is angelic protection. Um, because there's a connection that's supposed to be here with the lovers. So I don't know what's going on here, Scorpio. If there's been some type of blockage because of a jealous energy or something going on of that nature, it looks like Divine is stepping in here because there's a mutual desire, attraction, um, Somebody has also gained clarity in regards to some lies that have been spread here, Scorpio, with a seven of uh, swords. That's many tongues, right? So um, I'm just kind of getting like a methodical energy here to try to break you down, to make you look a certain way. It's sheer jealousy, whoever this is. They possibly want your person here because we have, a, again, a mutual desire mutual desire. I was going to say disaster. So somebody's trying to make it a disaster or has been. Yeah. Interference, power shield. Somebody could be using magic or just, again, um, manipulation with words. That's magic anyway. Word magic, energy, um, eight of swords. It's like,
four of swords whatever that is is coming to an end or rest here okay trust your intuition scorpio there's the death card scorpio energy and transformation with the lovers again so something's about to change in this situation there we've got change again um There's something here that's just meant to be divine protection, Sagittarius. There's the devil. Five of wands. Somebody wanted to create drama. Here's the devil. Toxic chaos. And then eight of wands. Eight of um, water. So somebody would walk away. Scorpio and it feels like you that's not going to happen but whatever you've been dealing with whatever this is it's like it's over okay let's do love for Scorpio whatever messages come out y'all it is what it is <laughs> whatever I'm picking up on it needs to come out for somebody what messages in regards to love do we have for Scorpio With the Four of Swords, I hate to say it, somebody could be living, leaving your life. With the Four of Swords, is something being put to rest. So there could be this person could have some type of illness. It could be because of a sexual like STD or something or something just, yeah, um, not getting good news financially either. Eight of Swords. We all know what that means. So anyway, let's move into love for Scorpio. All right. Five of Pentacles, five of swords. There's been a situation where things have been revealed to you. Okay. Maybe this is what a change, why we have change here. Moon card energy again. Um, there's been a loss and conflict in a situation. What else? A tower. You still feel like whatever this is, we've got Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Aquarius, Super Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Two of Swords, that you don't have all the information you need in regards to make the best decision. Still, you're trying to remain neutral. I feel like for whatever it is, if you did have interfering energy, manipulative energy showing up in some way, shape, or form, you know, it's still feeling like, well, I don't have all the, the answers. I just heard somebody's phone go off, so message. In regards to a third party situation, Eight of Swords, you've been really stuck in your head about. Okay. What else can you tell us about this Three of Swords and Eight of Swords energy spirit? Ace of Swords, Gaining Clarity, Six of Cups. Whatever you realize here, okay, you're going to be happy. Two of Cups energy. For some of you, again, this is a change that, you know, isn't going to be comfortable. There could be emotional triggers. You could be finding out about a third party situation because we have the moon in the tower. All right. Um, clarity about a past person with the six of cups here. And then we've got a soulmate energy here in the new direction. So for some of you, you could be finding out something and you're like, that's it for me. All right, um, then we've got the Fool card with the Two of Cups taking a new, this could be even starting over, getting a different perspective, and then the Star card, Prayers being answered. This came out in your last reading. So, um, Seven of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody was lying. Hermit energy. Why do we have Seven of Pentacles? 
somebody is trying to manipulate a situation, lying, trying to get somebody, because the Four of Cups just wanted to come out, to leave a situation, reject someone. It might even work. Look, we've got the Magician, Five of Cups, Five of Wands, Drama, Eight of Pentacles, but then divine protection in a situation here Sagittarius energy again with eight of Pentacles coming back together and working together so something half it could have been just you know things kind of unfolding here seeing what's going on again with the moon card things being revealed it could be in regards to a yeah whatever it is it's over there's change here so I guess that's all that matters all right any more messages in regards to love don't turn the AC on. I have the windows open and it is cold outside. Babe. Okay. Thank you. What this looks like to me, Scorpio, it just kind of feels like final outcome. Again, we have some type of an ending. However, that resonates somehow here. The energy of working together, coming together, thinking about something long and hard, whether it's you or your person and taking bold action where there's love, okay? Yeah, a situation is about to change, possibly with Scorpio. Energy doesn't necessarily have to be because I have the death card underneath that. But this is a new relationship. We've got change, marriage, could be even taking something to a higher level of commitment. All right. I love you guys. Uh, I hope this message is helpful. Like I said, I want to get a few messages out today while I have time. So um, until next time, lots of love and light. Bye.